Good morning, YouTube. Welcome to the Reptile Barn. Another unboxing video for you today. Very, very excited. We have three snakes to show you, and it's going to be awesome. So, ooh, yeah. First, uh, actually, no, let's do this one first. This is not an unboxing. This snake is a breeding loan from a friend of ours, Taylor. This, very excited to tell you, is a male puzzle. This is a recessive pattern mutation. Super cool. Uh, obviously, he's still little. Like all puzzles, he is uh, feisty pants, uh, but uh, really cool snake. Very excited to get this into some of our stuff. So we will try and beef him up this summer. Hopefully he can breed this winter, we'll see. Uh, I'll, bet he, I'll bet he'll be able to. Anyway, uh, huge thank you to Taylor. Very, very excited uh, to plug this guy in and get puzzle into our rotation. These guys, there's two snakes in here. We picked them up from Tall Grass Reptiles. They were great to work with. Um, we have been searching and searching and searching for um, a particular combo. Uh, you guys know we love the Desert Ghost gene. So we have been trying to up our game a little bit with Desert Ghost. And we finally found the guy we wanted. Tall grass reptiles. They have a lot of snakes for sale, guys. Uh, all sorts of really cool projects and high end stuff. Um, and uh, we ended up picking up a second snake as well <laughs> that we saw from them. Surprise, surprise. Yeah. So we'll show her first, actually. This is a female. Everything looks perfectly packaged. Oh, yeah. Looks like a tiny bit of shed or maybe just pee on her head. I'll have to see. Pull her out. So we could not turn down this female. Check her out. Let's see if we can show her head because she is a blackhead asphalt. So incredibly stoked. We wanted both of these jeans so bad, and when I saw both of them in one snake, I had to get her. Beautiful little baby, cool belly. Yeah, that looks like it's just a spot of stuck shed. Yeah, it's just a little bit of stuck shed on her head. Um, no worries. Very dark snake because of the black head, and obviously asphalt is the key ingredient to making freeways. Um, absolutely stoked for this snake right here uh, and this was the one we didn't even intend to get um you know it, it wasn't one we were searching for specifically but these were two genes that we really 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 wanted to work with very excited to have her so let me put her back in the bag for a minute we've got we've got uh tub set up for everybody by the way just a tip we buy snakes um, semi-regularly, uh, more regularly in the last couple weeks than <laughs> for a long time before that. Um, and we buy from people we trust. We've never had any issues with, you know, snakes coming in sick or snakes coming in um, not how they were represented or anything like that. However, we still take the precaution um, when I'm getting new snakes in, the tubs that I set up, are, uh, I spray with Prevenomite, okay? It's a preventative measure. I do not want mites. We've never had mites, and I would love to keep it that way forever and ever, okay? So, let us check this guy out. Oh. Um, so when you're going to uh, spray Prevenomite, take the water out. You do not want to spray directly into the water. 
But the key is take the snake out. Never, never, never spray your snake, okay? So you hold your preventamide about a foot away from the substrate and the tub. You spray it down, get a good coating on there, but not like forever. You don't want it to be soaking wet with preventamide. And let it air out. We let ours air out for like 30 to 40 minutes, which is longer than required, but we just, we don't want any risk. Once it, the aerosol in the air that you can see, the mist has settled and it's just a little, you know, like a fog on the inside of your tub, that's when it's safe to put your snake back in. The mites, in theory, that crawl off of the snake at any point, or the snake rubs against anything that was touching preventamite, the mites die. They all die, okay? It doesn't kill eggs, but when the eggs hatch, they come in contact with the preventamite and they die. So that's what you want. You want the mites to die, <laughs> okay? <laughs> now, without further ado, this is a male, and he's just a baby, but we are so excited to present to you. See if anyone can, I'll give you a couple seconds. Anyone who likes guessing the morphs before I tell you what he is. Oh, just oh look at him. Oh my gosh. So I'm gonna put him on here so you can see his colors nicely. This is a Mojave yellow belly desert ghost. And we are so excited to have him. Really, really fantastic blushing. The color looks more Mojave-ish than Desert Ghost-ish, which I'm surprised at. But uh, so pretty though. Those of you who are, who are familiar with Desert Ghost know that they change color as they age, uh, and they don't just dull out. I mean, they change color. <laughs> it's pretty amazing to watch. So I have no idea what this guy's gonna look like as an adult, but uh, his baby colors are pretty awesome. And we are so stoked to raise him up and get him established and eventually breeding when he's old enough and big enough. But uh, what a snake. What a just beautiful, beautiful snake that's going to help us um, in the future with our Desert Ghost projects. Curious little guy. So I'm going to go get these guys set up. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoy seeing these beautiful snakes. And until next time, we're the Reptile Barn. Um...